Okay, so this is your equations unit test review. All right, so these questions are going to help you guys make sure that you're ready for your test tomorrow. All right, so first couple questions here I want you to answer. Okay, um, we're writing on our desk, but remember I'm recording this so you guys can go back and watch it later. All right, so what is the additive inverse of that operation? Okay. Um, on the second question, which one, the LCM or GCF, would you use to clear fractions? And then what are the coefficients in that equation? Go ahead and answer these three. Hey, Lee, let's start with you. What is the additive inverse of multiplying by 7? Divide by 7. Did you guys say that? Yes. Okay, divide by 7. Very good. All right, Haley, would I use the LCM or the GCF to clear fractions? LCM. LCM, the lowest common multiple, so our denominators will cancel. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. All right, Haley, bring it home. What are the coefficients of the equation? Five and negative seven. Remember, the coefficient is the number connected to a variable in that term. All right, great job, Haley. Okay, next question. I'm going to give you several equations and I'm gonna ask you this question. All right, something similar to this. Which equation would have a solution of seven? So there is an element of solving here, right? Like you've gotta know which equation has that solution, all right? But I'm not necessarily asking you to completely solve it, all right? I'm just asking you which equation would have a solution of seven all right so we'll we'll label them equation a and equation b so you guys can tell me um hudson which equation has a solution of seven a a very good because we heart the negative 3x and subtract it negative 3x equals negative 21 and so because although okay not because but although i have negatives two negatives divided would be positive. All right, so again, I'm not necessarily looking for you to show your work. You will simply have to say equation A has the solution of seven. So great job, Hudson. All right, next question, next question. Okay, so we're gonna start solving several equations. I've given you what I feel are the, you know, some of the, the tougher ones that you would see on your test tomorrow. All right, solve it. So we have to do inverse operations. Don't be tripped up by that, okay? There's addition connected to X, so subtract it. Now subtract from the other side, but are you ready to subtract them? No, no you need an LCD. What is your LCD? Ten. 10, so multiply top and bottom by two, okay? So you get seven over 10 minus six over 10. So X equals one tenth. X equals one tenth. Don't be afraid of your answer being a fraction. Great job, Daniel. Okay, so now we are solving. Okay, we're, we're going into multi-step equations now. Okay, so there's going to be several steps here before uh, we can solve. Multi-step. Okay, so guys, your invisible wall says that you can combine like terms on one side of the equation. Are you going to get this tomorrow? Okay. 8x minus 6x is what? 2x minus 25 equals negative 35. All right. Now, where do you put your heart? Around the 2x. How do you get negative 25 to the other side? Add it. Okay, inverse operations. 2x equals negative 10. Divide and x equals negative 5. Great job, Mikhail. Okay, all right, good job, guys. Okay, here's another multi-step. Another multi-step here. Okay, except what do we have now? It starts with a D. Distributive. Distributive, okay? So do that first and then continue to solve. I will give you a hint that this one is a decimal, okay? But it is a terminating decimal. So which means that it, it's only one digit, yeah.
it, it's it's not a it's not a tough decimal to divide because I know you guys have to do it by hand. All right, Destiny, what did you get for your answer? I'm going back out there. Okay, so here we go. Negative 3x minus 6 plus 5x equals negative 9. How did you guys do on combining like terms this time? Did y'all get it? Yes. Okay, so negative 3x plus 5x is what? 2x minus 6 equals negative 9. Where does my heart go? Around 2x. 2x. Now I add 6 to both sides. Watch your integer rules. What's negative 9 plus 6? 2x equals negative 3. Divide both sides by 2. You could leave it negative 3 over 2, or you could say negative 1 and a half. Okay, if you say 1 and 1 over 2, that would be fine as well. Um, all of those answers would be accepted. All right, guys, solving multi-step equations. Again, if it's on here, it's on your test tomorrow. Okay, you will solve it. Okay, so you cannot just say right now when you're looking at it, one solution or no solution. Okay, you've got to show some work. Then if it's one solution, that means that you can solve the equation. If it's no solution, hopefully you can recognize that. If it's infin infinite solutions, uh, okay. Infinite solutions, then hopefully you can recognize that. All right, I'll give you a minute on this one. We need to go over this. Did you do the distributive property? Yes. All right, one third of a number is simply dividing it by three. So 3x plus 1 equals 3x plus 1. Okay, so what do you notice about both sides? They're the same. So especially the variable, because remember, we try to move the variable first. If we recognize that it's the exact same value, it will cancel when you try to move it. If what's left is the same, then your answer is infinite solutions. Okay, what happens if what's left is different? Then it's, a then it's no solution. Okay, all right. Um, Dylan, your turn to shoot. Wait, is he on the Okay, all right. So now here's your next question. Okay, it's, the, it's gonna be in the same section on your test. Okay, so again, you have to say once you solve it, okay, or, you know, whatever you need to do, you will have to specify is this a one solution, a no solution, or infinite solutions. All right, now this one does mirror a question that was on your quiz yesterday that tripped a few people up. All right, so hopefully we can clear that up. All right, now, which one? You have variables on both sides of the equation. You have negative 6K and positive 6K. Those are not the same. Which one is the lesser value? Negative 6K. So you must do the opposite, all right? This is not a special solution because they're not exactly the same, okay? All right, so now I have negative 7 equals 12K plus 5. You can rewrite this if you want. 12K plus 5 equals negative 7. So the K comes first. Where does my heart go? Around 12K. Around the 12K. Subtract 5 to both sides. 12K equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 12. Because you divide 1 negative, K equals negative 1. Negative 1. So because there is an answer... How many solutions do I have? One solution. One solution. One solution. Okay. You might you might want to go back and watch this one on your video. Okay. You might want to go back and watch this one. Okay. Next next problem. We yes. You get you get one point. And she's about to shoot. Okay. Clear the fractions. What do we say using what? The LCM, clear the fractions. All right, start working on that while Elizabeth shoots the bonus point. Okay, so 
three and five both go into 15. So you're gonna multiply the entire fraction or the entire equation by 15 over one. You're gonna cross cancel your denominators and multiply what's left by your numerators. Okay, go ahead and finish up. Okay, so we're gonna cross reduce the three and the 15. What is the 15 reduced to? Five. five. Multiply that by the numerator. Five times X is five X. Okay, now you're done with your five. Cross reduce the five and the 15. What is it reduced to? Three. Three times two is six. Okay, you're done with your three. Cross reduce the three and the 15 again. What is it reduced to? Five. Five times negative two is negative 10. Okay, where do I put my heart? Five X. Okay, how do I get positive six to cancel? Minus six to both sides. 5x equals negative 16. Divide by 5, and x equals negative 3.2. Okay, negative 3.2. All right, great job, Abby. Great job. Great All right, job. that one's that one's a challenge. So on the video tonight, maybe you just fast forward to the clearing fractions one, and you watch this one again. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to watch every single one, but some of these would be helpful to watch again. All right, solve the equation for y, okay? So now we're not saying y equals because this is a literal equation, meaning that there's more than one variable. So I can't solve for y in the sense that y is going to have a solution. All I'm trying to do is isolate it or get it by itself on one side of my equation, okay? I'm solving for y. Good, I see already step one. You guys are getting it, so that's good. Okay, get Y by itself. Okay, so where do we put our heart? Over the negative 4Y. Don't forget the negative. How do we move? Guys, be careful. You're moving 4X. You're not solving for X. So to move 4X, you must subtract it. You're trying to cancel it to the other side. Okay, so subtract 4X. All right, now are these like terms? One minus four X, are they like terms? No. no, you cannot subtract them. Negative four Y equals negative four X plus one. Now, what do I need to divide everything by? Negative four. Negative four. <coughs> divide everything by negative four. All right, now be careful with your signs. Y equals positive one or negative one? One X. Now a positive divided by a negative, how many negatives are there? One, so that's why it's gonna be minus one fourth. Minus one fourth. All right, now that's definitely the harder of the two on your test tomorrow, okay? So just to get Y by itself, remember guys, there's two variables. You're not necessarily looking for an answer. Okay, now you guys did really well in this problem yesterday, okay? I do need an equation for full credit. There are two equations that I accepted on the quiz yesterday. Um, I'll show you probably the easier one to remember, okay, in just a minute, but try to write an equation and then you're going to solve the problem, okay? The modeling real life. All right, um, we're on the magic. Does anybody have the equation, Emily? X equals negative four. Okay, that is, what, how, what was your starting equation? 75 minus 5X equals 55. Ah, perfect, great job, great job. My starting temperature is 75. I'm dropping five degrees every hour. My final temperature is 55. This is the equation, okay? Beautifully done, Emily, great job. All right, so now where does my heart go? Over the negative 5x, okay? You can subtract 75 from both sides. Negative 5x equals negative 20. All right, Emily, give me the answer before I get any farther. X equals negative 4. Well, it's positive 4. 
because it's two negatives, but then what is the answer? What is the answer? Look back at the time. All right, so X equals four hours. So what time would it be? Nope. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. You're good. You're good. She did the hardest part. Okay. 8 p.m. All right. So that's one equation. All right. Emily, come shoot your bonus point. I would also accept this equation. Negative 5x equals negative 20. Okay. Because it's dropping 20 degrees, which is the total amount of change. Okay. When you divide both sides, you would get the same answer. All right, so either equation would be fine. Okay, great job. Okay, we have a couple review questions. We have a couple review questions. Let's go over these and then we'll talk uh, quiz corrections. Okay, distance between is 30. Guys, this is a test question tomorrow. <laughs> okay, distance. All right, now complex fraction. Can anybody tell me on the <coughs> magic it's y'all's turn. What is the answer to the complex fraction? <coughs> What's the answer? Nope. Does anybody have the complex fraction yet? Abby? It is seven ninths, okay? So seven tenths over, okay? You can't, you need an LCD. So what's going to be my LCD for three fifths? All right, six over 10. I just went ahead and did this because we're running out of time. Um, plus three over 10 equals seven over 10 over nine over 10. Now this is where you pull them side by side. Seven over 10 divided by nine over 10. So now what do you do? KFC. Seven over ten times ten over nine. This is nice. Where did you get six over? I got six over ten because I needed an LCD so I could add my denominators. Okay. Yes. Please come shoot. Seven over nine. Okay. I'll explain it to you in just a minute. But I had to multiply the first one by two to get my common fraction. Did she get it? Okay. All right. So close. So close. All right, next one, Zoe. So close. Negative 3x minus 12 plus 2x. You want to try that again? Michael? I got 1x minus 12. Daniel? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you forgot your negative. Negative 1x minus 12. Why is it negative? Because it's negative. Because, no, because negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 is bigger. Okay? You get a point. Um, we're not going to shoot. We're running out of time. Okay? Uh, no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Okay? All right, these two questions are also on your test tomorrow. Okay, no, because we're running out of time. All right, so write the inequality and factor negative 4 out of the expression. Let's go ahead and do these two. We only have about a, a minute to do them because we need to go over the answers as well. Okay, someone give me the inequality um, on the magic. Give me the inequality here, Mikhail. S. X is less than or equal to Yes, very good. No more. No more than. So if I factor out negative 4, what's left in parentheses? Warriors, can anybody give me the answer? Why Zoe. Uh, negative 1 minus 9. Not negative 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is positive 1, yeah, po positive one plus 9. Yeah, 1 X plus 9. Positive. The entire expression needs to be your answer even the number you factored you all right sure? if that's every that's everything you need to know pretty much everything to be prepared for your test tomorrow